Welcome to the installation video for Fire Angel's Pro Connected Smart Alarm Range. With smart smoke, heat, and carbon monoxide alarms, the range offers adaptable protection in a way to suit your family and home. A standalone installation is simple and sees devices protecting independent zones within your home. A network installation sees multiple devices installed across your home with the added benefit of being interlinked or connected. This means that if one alarm detects danger, all alarms will sound, providing a rapid alert across the entire home. The added smart installation provides you with alerts and updates to your smart device when you are away from home, as well as easy testing and notifications for multiple properties. In this video, we'll talk you through all three installation types and detail how to get the most from your connected alarms. Before purchasing and installing new alarms, it's important to understand what legislation applies to your local area and housing type. We advise you to visit our website or local government page for specific guidance, using this detail as a reference only. For a standalone installation, remove the device and accessory parts from the box, making sure you have all of the parts listed on the product packaging. Follow the instructions and sighting guidance to install the alarm correctly. Once installed, press the test button in the center of the alarm to ensure it's working correctly. Remember to have mains powered alarms fitted by a qualified electrician. Setting up a network of pro connected alarms is easy and can be completed as they're being taken out of the box or in the future with most of the alarms remaining in situ. In this example, we're going to connect a mains powered heat alarm with a battery powered smoke alarm and a battery powered carbon monoxide alarm. To start, remove all of your alarms and accessories from their boxes keeping the fixing kit safe to one side. Take one of the devices and fit it to its base plate. On the second device, locate the wireless interlink button on the back and press using a pen. This will illuminate the LED for five seconds. Within this time, press the test button on the alarm which you previously fitted to its base plate. If the connection is successful, the interlink LED will flash three times and then stay illuminated for a few more seconds. If this light pattern doesn't happen, please start the process again. Once connected, you can then go ahead and connect the next device using the same method. Simply locate the interlink button on the back and press with a pen. Now press the test button on the original alarm fitted to its base plate. If the connection is successful, the interlink LED will flash three times and then stay illuminated for a few more seconds. Once interlinked, fit the base plates to all of the alarms and press one of the test buttons. All of the alarms will now sound. That's it. Whether you're interlinking three devices or 33 devices, the process remains the same. To enable smart features such as instant notifications, updates for a relative's property and easy testing through the app or by just asking Alexa, you'll need to add a Fire Angel gateway to your network of alarms. First, ensure you have followed the interlink steps in the network section of this video. Once interlinked, you can install the alarms into your home or temporarily leave them in an accessible place whilst you add the gateway. Make sure you have everything from your gateway box laid out in front of you and a smart device running iOS or Android to hand. Next, to set up the gateway, plug one end of the Ethernet cable into the port on the back of the gateway and plug the other end into your broadband router. Then, plug the micro USB lead into the back of your gateway and into a mains power socket. It can take up to five minutes for the gateway to fully power up. Now you can go to your relevant app store and download the Fire Angel Connected app. Once downloaded, open the app and tap the sign up button in the bottom right hand corner. Complete the registration details and click submit. You will be sent an activation email, which you will need to open and click on the link from the same device to continue. Now you can sign in with the username and password details you provided in the previous step. Complete the setup with your details and click Save. Accept the terms and conditions and now your account is set up. 
The first time the app loads, it may ask if you intend to install the gateway at the address already provided or a different one. Select the option relevant to you. Next, locate the MAC address on the bottom of your gateway and enter this unique 12 character code into the box provided. Once the app has found and connected to your gateway, you can tap Next. Now we can add your alarms by tapping Add New Device. Because we already linked our alarms in the previous section, we can skip these steps and click Continue at the bottom. However, if you haven't linked your alarms, please follow the steps in the Network section of this video. The next step is to add the gateway into your network of alarms. This begins by pressing the Continue button. Wait for the red LED to illuminate on the front of the gateway and then press the test button on one of the alarms within five seconds. After this, one of two things can happen. If only the device that was pressed sounds an alarm and all gateway lights flash, then the connection was successful. If multiple alarms sound or the lights do not flash, then the connection was not successful, and you'll need to start the process of adding the gateway again. To do this, press the Learn In button on the back of the gateway, and then press the Test button on one of the alarms within 5 seconds. Now you should notice devices appearing on your dashboard screen. They may appear as unknown devices at first, but these will change over the next 1-2 to two hours. Once all your devices are showing, you can customize the app further by selecting a device and naming the location, for instance, Hallway. If you have multiple devices and are unsure which is which within the app, start by giving each device a number. Then, remove one of your devices from its base plate and shortly after, you'll receive a fault notification telling you which device this is. In this scenario, one is the smoke alarm in the hallway. Now, go back into the device settings and change the location name to hallway. Repeat this process for your other devices. Congratulations! Your smart gateway and app are now set up. Remember, if you require any support, you can visit our website or get in touch with our customer service team. Thanks for watching.